story time about this girl who faked being Latina. So there was this girl who went to my school, let's call her Sarah. Sarah is the queen of lies. In every subject we talk about, Sarah always, and I mean always, comes up with a lie that has to do with her life. Here's an example. What if we're talking about Tom Holland? She'd just come in and say, oh yeah, Tom Holland is my dad's friend, I met him once. You know, these types of lies. Another one is when she told everyone she's Latina. It was lunchtime in school and we were talking about where we went for the summer. Sarah tells us that she went to Spain and she started telling us on what she did there and says that she's 50% Latina. She also said that she lived in Spain for six years and if there is any person who lived in Spain for six years, they must know how to speak Spanish. And then my friend Kayla asked Sarah what does good morning mean in Spanish? And then Sarah looks at us, looks back at her food, and said, I don't know, I'm still taking Spanish lessons. And we just look at her, that she doesn't even know what good morning means in Spanish. If she had lived in Spain for six years, she would have known what it meant. I don't know how, but that incident has spread around the entire school. Every person that walks past Sarah just says, Buenos dias, basically teasing her about not knowing what good morning means in Spanish. And then Sarah didn't show up to school for three days after that. And oh boy, we haven't even got into the crazy part. The three days pass and Sarah comes back to school. As soon as she walks into the class, everyone's eyes was on her. She came up, sat in her seat, and this lady showed up in a crop top, skinny jeans, fake nails, and fake lashes. <sighs> and her hair was in a bun with edges. Yes, you heard me, edges. This lady is white. And in lunchtime, she took out a bag of hot Cheetos and some dipping sauce. I don't know if this was supposed to make us think she's Latina, but trust me, it didn't work. All of the freshmen and sophomores took out their phone and started filming her. This is where I kind of felt bad, but she ran to the bathroom crying. And she just stayed there and didn't show up to any classes for the rest of the day. Story time! So there was this one girl in 7th grade, let's call her Lexi. And Lexi used to sit next to me in class. And I was throwing a Halloween party later this week. I decided to write a list of what we're going to be doing at the party in class while Lexi's sitting next to me. She looks over at my notebook and sees it. And she was like, I'm invited, right? I looked at her and I just didn't say anything because I didn't want to tell her she's not. She got really excited and was like, I'm going to be wearing a devil costume. Actually, no, I want to be the angel. And at the end of class, she told me to send her the location and information on her Instagram. And I remember that Lexi had a lot of spam accounts and accounts she doesn't use. So I decided to send her the information on one of the accounts she doesn't use. Two days later, I get a message from Lexi. She sent me a message from one of her real accounts. Then she told me that I forgot to send her the information for the party. I told her that I did send the location, but on her other account and that I didn't know she stopped using it. Lexi didn't believe me, so I sent her a screenshot. Then I told her that since she didn't confirm, she can't come to the party because I had a limit of 20 people. Lexi got really mad and started calling me mean stuff. That I'm rude and forgetful. And then Lexi blocked me not just on Instagram, but on Snapchat and TikTok. Of course I didn't care and just went on with my day. Fast forward to the next day, which was the day of my party. Things were going great. Me and my friends had an amazing time. But after an hour, I get a phone call from a random number. I didn't answer, number one, because the music was too loud and I was too busy with my friends. Maybe 10 to 15 minutes pass and that number calls me again. I handed my phone to my friend and let her answer the phone. She told me that there was a person waiting for me in front of the house. I, of course, didn't want to go outside alone, so I let my friend Jason come out with me. As soon as we arrive to the front of the house, we see Lexi and her mother sitting next to her in her car. I just stood there in disbelief, not knowing what to do. Lexi got out of the car, looked at me and rolled her eyes, then looked at Jason and started talking to him. 
she was like jason can i come in and jason didn't know what to say but he said yes and lexi had the audacity to show up to my party after she blocked me on all of my social media lexi stayed with jason and jason's friend i couldn't enjoy my night anymore after that the next day in school i told my teacher the story and she moved my place